Okay, here we are um, with our new Shigematsu uh, breakfast response of PAPR, which is Powered Air Respiratory. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. This is uh, just new in the country um, and uh, it's designed specifically for the asbestos removal industry or anyone who's dealing with fine particulates. Uh, and it solves a lot of problems that a lot of PAPR units have. So what I wanted to do today was just show you um, what you get when you open the box and point out some of the features as we go. So, comes in nicely packaged. Uh, this is a size large. Uh, the beauty of this unit is that you've got powder air respiratory without any cords or switches, um, nothing to get tangled up in, so it's a nice compact unit. Right, let's open this thing up. Just leave that over there. Here we go. So, we open up the top. First up, instruction booklet. That's always handy. So, here we are. So here's the main mask. Got a nice cover on the screen, so it doesn't get damaged in transit. So, your main full face mask, First impressions are that it's very light. I can imagine that's quite comfortable wear that's very light. So it's got a, um, a six point head harness. Gives you uh, lots of adjustment points so you can make sure you get a good face fit. Uh, exhalation valve there, speech diaphragm, and this is where the PAPR unit sits on the front. So we'll just push that back and give ourselves some room. So. So this is the uh, the fan unit and battery unit, place for the battery there, and this just clips on, so attach it there, and it clips in place, nice and simple. What else have we got? Next thing here, okay, it's the battery charging unit. And there's the power supply. So, okay, one thing I noticed it's got a Japanese plug on it, so we will have to supply you with an adapter um, so we can fit the New Zealand plugs. But I won't undo that. That's easy enough. So that just plugs into there. We'll put that into the adapter and into the wall. Okay. This is a uh, P3 filter, and so that's going to give you 99.95% protection against um, fine particulates, Australian New Zealand standards, as well as the CE marks. Okay, so that just uh, screws on to the front. It's nice and simple. What else have we got in here? Okay, well here's our battery, so this is what powers it all. Okay, so that just slides into the bottom. Okay, these battery indicator lights, there's a nice key on the bottom that tells you what it's doing. So this means it's uh, not fully charged, that one's flashing so it's still usable. Um, and these batteries will last, or the LED lights will last for about 30 seconds after you first insert the battery and tell you what state it's in. If you get to um, alternating flashing lights, that means it's going to lock the fan down so that you can't use the unit. Um, you need to charge basically once you've got both lights flashing. So that's, that's the basic mask, PAPR ready to go. But there are a few other little bits and pieces in here. What have we got? Okay, so three other bits in here, which are basically just protective items. So this one here is a, a guard to go over the fan unit, just to try and keep the dust and dirt or anything else you've got, any other contaminants in the air off the, the fan unit. Still allows plenty of air to get in around the sides. This here, okay, so this is a um, 
a cover for the speech diaphragm. Looks like a little tea cozy. So essentially, on the side here you've got your speech diaphragm so people can hear you communicating. This here just simply goes over the top to keep contaminants off of that. I see we also have one more cover. I'll take the filter off. Clear some space. Okay, so this here is to go over the fan and battery unit just to make clean up a lot simpler if you're working in a very dusty um, environment. Looks like it can be washed and reused and essentially that just goes over the unit. I can imagine these are sort of optional. I'm, whether, I'm not sure whether everyone's going to use that but I guess it aids with the cleanup. Now the beauty of this unit is you're going to get um, nine hours, about nine hours battery life. You can't see it but on the inside of the mask there's an LED light that tells you when the filter is getting full. So it takes the guesswork out of knowing when to change your filters. So when that starts flashing you know it's time to change it. Um, again, nice compact unit, quite light. Um, you could wear that all day with no problems. The whole mask and setup is uh, approved to the standards for uh, waterproofing of IP65 which means you can go through a decontamination shower. Um, which is fantastic. I mean, if you've been working with asbestos and you need to go through a shower, you've got your respiratory protection as you wash down. Fantastic little unit, this. I think it's going to be very successful.